Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be having a look at the fundamentals of Toddle. Uh, as anybody who's followed this channel knows I absolutely love Toddle. It's a fantastic front-end web app builder. Probably the most powerful one that I've seen out there and it's a joy to work with. And I thought I'd show you this if you were curious or maybe you looked at Toddle before but not quite got into it. And just to explain the core and very simple concepts that are involved because even though it's very powerful there are actually only three four different core concepts for you to learn for you to be able to build everything and obviously then you need to learn how to apply those best to fit the application that you're building in so let's take a look so this is just a blank template that you get when you create a new project in Toddle. now two of the core concepts that you need to learn that are really important in, in Toddler are variables and formulas. So variables store dynamic data so in other words you create a variable and within that variable you can store anything that the user inputs or anything that you want to be dynamic within your application. And the reason they're important is because Toddle is a very reactive development system. So you don't, when you want something to happen in your app, you don't go and have step one to do this, a step two to do that, step three to do this, and step four to do that. All of these things that are affected by something that changes in your app is you simply use variables to do that. So let's go through some examples of what I mean by a reactive development tool so on our page we've got a h1 and we've got another text and they build, they live in here okay and these are just a simple tree in toggle so let's make it so this h1 can be toggled to show and hide okay so what we do with that one then is we set up a variable and we go over here click plus and we'll set up a variable and we will show say show header okay now because this is going to be a toggle to show it and hide it it's going to be what we call a boolean value so that can either be true or false so the way that we set that is and make sure the toddle knows it's true false is we can click on this little fx which is our little formula button there to set up a formula and again formulas are another of those key concepts in toddle so when we click it in this case we're not going to do anything special we're just going to set it to the static value of false okay in fact let's set it to true to start off with okay so all that we're doing there is setting the default value the initial value of our variable to be true okay so let's say that what we're going to do is that when they click this tag here it's going to change this one so that it hides okay so if you think about traditional or many other no code tools the way that you would do that is you would simply say okay on here when they click this I set up an event and again an event is another key concept so we've got variables formulas and events so an event is simply that when the user clicks we want something to happen okay so it, to do that we click on our paragraph which is just this one here and we go to events and we want to respond to the click event okay now in other no code tools you might say okay well what, what do I want to do here now, the step I want to take is to hide this okay right so this is a h1 so let's go and look for the h1 element and let's tell it to go invisible okay that would be that now because Toddler is reactive we don't do that we operate with variables in fact if we add the step here we can see we don't get a huge number of options like we do doing other no code tools such as bubble okay so we, we don't what we do in Toddler we don't force it we kind of let it do its thing okay we set it up to be reactive and we let Toddler react to that okay and we, as I say we do that through variables so all we're going to do is we're going to set that this variable show header okay and we're going to again we're going to go into the formula and we're just going to set it to a static value of false so it's true by default 
and when they click that label we're going to then set this to false okay so how is that going to affect anything by setting that variable well what we do is on our h1 we have what we entitled what we call a show hide so what we can do there is right click and we go to show hide which is a formula okay and now what we what Toddle wants to know is well when do I show and when do I hide this element okay so we set up a formula to say that when a condition is true then we show it when it's false we hide it and so what we're going to do is we're then going to rely on our variable for show header okay therefore this is completely dynamic okay so we've set that there so now if we run that, which we can do using the little play button at the bottom, okay, when we click our label, the template goes away. Okay, now we don't have a way to bring it back again, but we'll do that in a second. But the point I want to make is that we're not directly operating with the element. We're dealing with variables that in some way are bound, what we call bind, have binding, to the element and so the element never directly gets represented in either workflows or formulas they are represented by being bound to a variable and we could have many different things on the page which have a, which are dependent on show header okay so for example with our text button there let's say we want to have that as a toggle rather than as just to make it disappear we want to toggle it to show it and hide it so let's go back to our click event and in here rather than just set it to a static value of false we'll go into our formula editor and this time we will pick up the variable and we're going to add another formula using this plus and we're going to use the not formula because Todd has many built-in formulas that you can use within the formula builder okay so what's going to happen what not does is basically reverse a boolean value so if a value is false run it through not it becomes true if it was true run it through not it becomes false so it acts like a, a toggle in your application okay so what we can do now then simply by doing that is we can now cause the the header to be able to be shown so shown in, and to be shown and hidden when we want okay so we'll play click that and then we can do this okay all reactive around the variable and being set within a formula so obviously this text is not very relevant really is it now to the uh, to to the action that we're taking so we're going to set that a little bit more cleanly but obviously we want to change it depending on whether what, what the setting is whether, whether this is shown or it's hidden and remember we're not looking directly at the element to determine if it's shown or hidden we're relying on that variable that's bound to it okay so what we can do there then is on here within the paragraph we get this text and we get a formula to set the text okay and at the minute it just set, it's just got a static value so let's say that we want to change that so we'll go to our formula and we're going to use what we call an if formula okay and this if says when a condition is met then do this otherwise do this or else do this so what we'll do is we'll just say if show header okay we don't need to say if show header equals true we just need to say if show header and we know that that's either checking is it true okay and then we can say so what do we want to do if it's true we want to change that label which is what the output is going to be over here we want to change that to say click here to hide the header okay because if the condition is true then that means it's already shown so we want to tell them that they can click there to hide it and then if it's not true if it's hidden then we can say click here to show the header okay and then if we run this click here to hide the header we click it hides it click it to show the header okay now then the important thing that I'm trying to get at really here is that how this is fundamental to how Toddle works is that in our click event we're not saying we're not being proactive and saying okay they've clicked that now what we need to do is to set the header tag invisible and we need to then change the text of this 
Okay, so it'll be step one to decide whether you're going to show the header or not, and then step two would be to change the text on the label. We're not doing that because we're being reactive, and we can do that simply by setting the variable and then revolving our formulas around that variable. And that is really key to it. So we've got variables, formulas, and events, which are absolutely key to total. And we can, once you get that, those concepts and you can sort of imagine what you can do with them, you can build out some really powerful applications in total. So I just wanted to make a quick video just explaining the core concepts of that. We can go deeper into this, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be building out a simple uh, app in the next tutorial in total using Xano as the back end as the database and we will we'll flesh this out in more detail but listen thanks for watching i hope it's been useful for you and take it easy